Okay, live. All right. So today, uh, my name is Quarry Hewlin. Um, I work on Mattermost, and I'm going to go through the uh, sample bot. Um, so a quick overview. Uh, all of this code that you're going to see today can be found here at this location, Mattermost dash bot sample Golang. Um, some really quick highlights. Uh, we're going to connect to the server using the 4.0 Go driver. Um, we're going to log in. We're going to find and create a channel if needed. And then we're going to listen to WebSocket events and respond to those events. Um, um, and an example, we're probably we're going to add a simple time example. So uh, if someone says the word time, um, then we're going to tell them the time of the server as a response. Um, yeah, so really quick, let me hop over. So a couple different things. Um, um, I've already kind of done the pre-step, so here's the repo. Uh, it basically has you, tells you how to set up the environment. Um, I already created the, the team, um, the bot user, a secondary user to view the messages. Um, so I've kind of done all these setup environment steps, and we're kind of starting right here. Uh, I've already cloned the repo locally, um, and basically the only thing I have to do is just call make run. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm logged into the team here as the team is named bot sample. I'm logged in as at test. Um, and I'll just go ahead and show you what it does and then we'll kind of talk through the code. So uh, if you notice there is an error, it says it looks like this might be the first time. So we created the channel debugging for sample bot. So if I go back here, I notice, oh, there's this new channel now. I'm gonna go ahead and join it. Um, the bot will basically report when it started and when it stopped. And then if I ask it questions like, you know, are you running? Uh, it should respond like, yes, I'm running. You know, what is the weather? Uh, I did not understand you. So it's, it's a pretty simple bot, but you can kind of see We'll kind of go step through the code a little bit and um, understand it at a high level, um, what it's doing. Um, so that's the sample bot. Uh, really quick, um, the sample bot uses the the uh, 4.0 our 4.0 Go driver. So I'll just quickly run through that. So if you notice here, I'm in the platform repo. Uh, if you go down to model, uh, this model directory contains all of our sort of uh, structs or objects for communicating um, to the server. Uh, it uses the RESTful, way, the RESTful JSON web service to do that. Um, and we kind of give you um, a really high level grade uh, driver. So if you look, there's client4api.go. Uh, this is what I'm using and you'll see how simple it is. But, but it, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of different API calls in here for doing different things like logging in, logging in by LDAP, logging out, uh, creating users, creating channels, getting users. So everything is kind of fully here. Everything is here and fully functional. 100% um, of the server is controlled by this RESTful JSON web service. So anything you see being done in this UI over here, um, there is a corresponding call for it in the in the driver um, so that makes it really nice so um yep let's get to the code so i already have it open here and i'll kind of talk through it a little bit um it's probably not the best organization but the sample bot is organized to make it really simple to follow um, <coughs> um there's some declaration of stuff up here that it needs like what channel it's listening to, it's expected uh, password and stuff like that to log in. Um, uh, there's the client that we're going to call and then the WebSocket client, and that's for listening and responding to WebSocket events. Um, there's just a simple main that starts up. It prints a message. If you notice uh, here, we're constructing the client or initializing the client. It's just pointing to local hosts. Um, uh, we make sure the, the, the server is running. Uh, we log in as that bot user. We actually update the bot user's properties if needed. We find his team. Um, we create an initial message that, hey, it's up and running. And then we basically um, start listening um, 
to WebSocket events and responding to those events. And this is basically the loop for listening to those events. So really the meat of it is handled here, um, but I just wanted to kind of walk people through those high level steps. And then you can see each of the functions down here, basically what it's doing. Um, um, so here you can see, you know, login as the bot user, it's just calling client.login. Um, and then it's printing out an error to the console if it fails and exiting. So the, those are all pretty simple. Um, you can kind of read through them and see how it is. Like I said, there's pretty much a one-to-one -one correspondence. Here's getting the channel. Um, um, and then sort of the meat of it is happening here. If you remember, Handle WebSocket is listening to WebSocket events. And so this is the, this is the, the, the function call that's looping, that's listening to those events and responding. And so we have a little bit of like pre-check here. We're basically checking like, hey, um, is this the channel? Am I, you know, listening to a particular channel? I'm only listening to the channel, and responding in that channel. Um, I'm only going to respond or look at events where it's the where the event type is posted or a message posted, because there's a bunch of other WebSocket events. Um, prints a line that I'm going to respond. It extracts the post or the message content out of that event, um, and then it basically it ignores itself, so it doesn't respond to itself. And then basically it just does this simple uh, regular expression matching. Like if it sees the word alive or the one we did was running, if it sees the word running in the, in the, in the post message body, it just basically responds and says, yep, I am running. So we're going to be really simple case. We're going to add uh, one that responds like with the server time. So let me go ahead and add the time package. Um, so if we see the word time, um, we want to respond with time dot now. Um, we want to respond with a message of what the server time is. So it is a format, and we'll just give it a format of hours, minutes, and seconds. Um, and that should be it. So, so we just really simply added another um, response. So let's go ahead and see that response now. Um, let me go ahead and stop this. So if you notice when I did stop it, um, I got the message, you know, matter most sample bot has stopped running. So when I fire this back up, and, yep. So Mattermost sample bot is, is has started. So now I can ask it, you know, what is the time? And it should respond. It is 11:38, um, where I am at. So that's a really quick, high-level example of the of the sample bot. You can kind of dig through the code and and see how we're responding to different messages. Um, and hopefully, as people can use it as a starting place. Um, for building for building bots. Um, um, yep. Yeah. What else? Yep. Yeah, that's it. So uh, please don't forget to join uh, to join our pre-release. This is where um, our team, the Mattermost Core team, sits along with our uh, community of contributors, and we actively monitor channels like developers and contributors. So uh, if you have questions around the bot sample, um, please feel free to join the server. Um, join our pre-release server and uh, ask questions.